So I just wanted to do a video. Um, this is a new to me fuel tank. I'd looked all over our part of the country and couldn't find one. My next door neighbor actually had this one. So he didn't know too much about it. So right now I'm in the process of filling it with water. Yes, I know it's not the best thing to fill it with, but it's cheaper in diesel fuel and I'll find out if it's got any leaks. I don't think it does, but I'd rather find out now that I have seepage than when it's full of diesel fuel. Um, it's actually about a 775 gallon tank by the dimensions. It's a little over uh, eight feet long this way, a little over four foot tall, and a little over three foot wide. It's a very well built tank. I don't know what it came off of, but it was used uh, in its previous life as a diesel tank. So it's just been sitting in his place accumulating moisture on the inside so it's not like it's a big deal that i'm putting water in it it had probably 50 gallons of water in it that might be too much i don't know but so it's not like starting putting water in it what i'll do is i'll fill it with water figuring that three quarter inch hose will put out about 23 gallons a minute so it'll take a little over 30 minutes to fill this tank and once it's full i'll let it sit for a while make sure that there's no leaks or seepages anywhere and then um i will drain it and then let it air dry out it has a three quarter inch port on bottom and then a three inch filler port on top and another three quarter inch port on top i'm thinking about running piping from underneath to a t and then using that t to hook to a 12 volt pump and do it where I can use the T as a drain as well. That way if I ever need to drain the tank, um, I have that capacity. But anyways, it's just an update. Thanks for watching.